Hello everyone, it's the Reverend Godfather here, main host and front man for the internet's most hated mafia themed geek podcast, Lone Coat Mafia Podcast. Uh, first things first, it, uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe bu- button. Help us either get to a hundred subscribers, uh, if not, whatever the next uh, predominantly huge number that might be, whether it be 500, 1,000, 100,000, or a million. So please do that, and if you like these videos, hit the like button down below. And I'm happy to, depending on what order I put these videos up, uh, I am happy to be recording back outside uh, uh, right now. But uh, why am I recording this video? And that is because I want to whine, bitch, complain, rant, vent to all of you out there and just do a blog. Why am I ranting and raving today? It's because... Um, well, I didn't necessarily um, do an unpacking because I wanted to make sure it is what it was and the color and all that fun jazz. And that is, we're talking about, yes, uh, a lot of you out there know um, I do a lot of walking, therefore I do like my backpacks. And uh, what happened was, I know a bunch of you out there saw me put, to get, put together a gaming pack, a, a, ca- a pack That is basically for, I am going to adjust the microphone here so you can hear me adjust that. I I do apologize for that. Even though it was getting good sound, I just want better sound. Um, In regards to the gaming pack, uh, what happened was I went out with the gaming pack on uh, for adventure. I got a couple of things at Walmart attached uh, those things to the pack and a strap broke therefore I couldn't use the pack anymore so upon crapping the pack so to speak and tossing the wayside when I got home uh, I figured you know what I can't wait until Goodwill gets another decent pack uh, for me to use as a gaming pack so I just chalked it up for all of you to see that you could get a Decent pack on the cheap that you use for a gaming pack. Uh, I know many of you out there uh, who have these types of packs are like, well, duh. Uh, People, you know, like me, you know, whomever, we've been doing custom packs our own lives, you know. But still, I just wanted to show it to all of you out there that don't know, don't realize it. It's my job to inform. So, how does this pack come into play? Well, because I keep posting about backpacks and so forth and so on, I decided, uh, well, the Facebook algorithms uh, pretty much told me, uh, here's some packs, here's some great deals, here's some great deals. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to click on an ad. Uh, wasn't Wish. <laughs> uh, believe you me, you know what, I am also, you're going to see some smoke robot because, well, mosquitoes so therefore the this little anti mosquito lamp is going to uh, burn try to keep some of the mosquitoes away and away from the camera Uh, probably won't stop the smoke from interfering but at least it'll help but back to uh, the backpack and I clicked on a little on links it was for a camping backpack that's what this is supposed to be a 50 out out liter I think uh, pack. Uh, it is from Epic Deals for I think 30 bucks and change. Uh, it, was, it said, hey, yeah, this pack is worth like 70 bucks. We're selling it to you for 30 plus shipping. Buy it today. And I was like, okay, I have the money. I want a decent pack. Uh, I want a better pack, something that could probably hold everything and so forth and so on. I'll do it. I'll bite one for the team. And it's not Wish. So we all know the reputation of Wish. So I did that. Turns out Epic Deals is a drop shipper similar to Wish. And for those of you who don't know uh, what a drop shipper is, is that they deal with, they don't have a, a warehouse like here. Uh, that prime example of what not a drop shipper uh, shipper is or uh, what an atypical mail order company is 
is Amazon. They're the, they're the most prime, ex pun intended, uh, example. Because they have warehouses across the United States. Uh, and when you order from Amazon, they if they have the stuff in stock, they pack it up and ship it to you. Either to your door or to a very secure location like uh, an automated, you know, pretty much a locker that you enter in a code, door pops open, you take your box out. Um, but a drop shipper, what they do is they make a deal with a company overseas, mostly China, i.e. Wish. Uh, ex prime example is Wish. Uh, and because that's where the stuff is made. They... And the company, like in this case, Epic Deals, they're able to get the stuff, like backpacks, for pennies on the dollar. Like this, this pack um, probably cost them five dollars because this was made in China. This is not a, I don't think, a major brand. So, like I said this probably cost them five bucks. Therefore, they're able to sell it for twenty, thirty dollars and make more than their money's worth. I didn't realize that they were a drop shipper. Nothing said, you know, all the stuff, granted me being a stinking dumbass, said that they were a drop shipper. And I, I was the one, I'm always the one saying, don't read the reviews, go what people said, go with, you know, uh, authenticity. But um, they play, I want to say, in all sense of the word, they played the long con, meaning, uh, I'm I'm the one type of people that says you know don't really believe the reviews you know if you see someone drinking something like G Fuel uh, ask them what their thoughts are on G Fuel you know that way um, you know you know you know for firsthand you're not going by the comments on Facebook you're not going by a YouTuber or a, a Twitch streamer in regards to it uh, but. Again, I just went through the comments on uh, their Facebook posts, and they didn't really, you know, nothing really spoke up. I'm like, oh, I get it. Uh, didn't get it really yet, and uh, therefore, um, you'd hear response. Now, here's the thing. Yes, there are people out there. There are companies out there. Does Epic do this? I have no clue. Um, I could probably say, roll the dice and say, maybe. Um, or it seems like it, or them as a company probably do it on upper level, but they don't tell their social media team that they do this. Uh, that way it seems more authentic uh, in regards to everything. And what I mean is they probably, more often than not, some, sketch some sketchy, I don't know, uh, therefore I'm removing epic deals from this. Uh, some sketchy uh, places would do is they will go out and hire people to re leave either good reviews or bad reviews, uh, meaning, hey, we have we uh, trying to cover up the name of this. Um, I'll go one better because I got um, right here. I'll go. I'll go name brand, Dr Pepper. I'm not saying Dr Pepper does this. I'm just using Dr Pepper as an example. Dr Pepper could hire people to just that don't even drink soda never had soda in their life they could hire people to leave good reviews on like amazon walmart uh, other places yelp i don't know facebook saying their product is the best and as you know there are plenty of knockoffs uh from you know uh, you know dr lion or you know mountain lion or whatever you know uh dr Fu. uh i don't know there's a lot of off brands uh, what they could do is they could uh, hire people to, um, Mr. Pib is a their competitor, um, in a way, Mr. Pib. They could they could hire people to leave bad reviews on Mr. Pib, because they want sales of Dr. Pepper to uh, increase, and they could say you know make it sound authentic. I'm saying they'd rather drink Star Brand, you know, uh, flavors over Mr. Pib. Heck, I might even, you know, that way it's not blatantly obvious that they are fronting for Dr. Pepper. But in the case of Epic Deals, uh, there were a few, um, 
I won't say flags, but there are a few posts like, oh, I didn't get it yet, uh, please contact, you know, um, uh, our customer so support. So, I put in mine on January 4th. June, not January, June 4th this year, 2021. And June 4th, and it's like I got the confirmation email saying, congratulations, you placed an order with Epic Deals. Uh, and I was like, all right, all right, just got away on that tracking number, you know, when it shipped out. Five days later, one, two, three, four, five, on the 9th, it was finally shipped out. Now, I, me ordering a lot of stuff online, I know sometimes even when the label is printed, uh, it still takes another two or three days before it's picked up and leaves the company. Uh, but it left the company that day uh, on the 9th and it left China for the States three days later. That's right. It left the coast of China June 12th. That's right. Eight days after I hit confirm on Epic Deals website, this finally left the country. Now, on their Facebook posts, they say, you get your product within 7 and 10 days. It took 8 days. No, it, I'm sorry. It took 5 days for the order to leave the plant. It took another 3 days to leave the country. 8 days. That means this would have had a week to get to the safe house that's behind me what happened after it this product reached the coastline of this great country of ours now i'll stay i'll say this because this tracking number i received after it got shipped out shipped out it said it, this wasn't like dhl this wasn't fedex this wasn't hell UPS or you know some off offbeat tracking place you know a shipping place parcel direct if you, some of you remember those those uh, those weirdos uh, it was just a tracking number site and they said congratulations when I was monitoring it it said congratulations it, it has arrived in America didn't say where, just said it has arrived in America on the 14th at 2, let me bring it up, because I have a screenshot of it, <laughs> of when it uh, arrived. Let's see, photos, and we're doing this live, that's right, I'm going to do it like that. Uh, let's see, let's see, camera, camera screenshot, it arrived in America, it arrived Let's see, it, that's not it. Let's see, is that it? Nope. Uh, arrival. 14, arrived in America at 2.05 a.m. on June the 14th this year, 2021. It took eight days, nine hours, and three minutes to leave the port. It said international, according to their tracking, said it has uh, international shipment release in port 2021, 6, 22, 11.08 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's right. Eight days, nine hours, three minutes later and possibly change, it left there to finally it took over a week. So at this point, at this point, from release, again, this was the 22nd. We're talking, let's back out of this and go to the date app. It took a week, almost 14, it took, it actually took, 
almost 14 days. Seven. Took 13 days to leave, to get and leave the western part of this United States of America. What port was it in? So what, according to that particular tracking website software, this it didn't tell me where in America it landed. It could have been Anchorage, Alaska, for all I know. It could have been anywhere from between Seattle, Washington to San Dimas, California, for all I know. I don't know what's going on with this package. Then, then it tells me, then it tells me that approximately nine hours and 20 minutes later, it doesn't say exactly where, but it does see that, well, it does. It just says it like this. Newark, Newark New Jersey, destination country, arrival. It arrived in the United States seven, eight days, nine hours prior and three minutes. It arrived in this country. And it said, oh, now it's arrived in this country in Newark, New Jersey. Really? But all oh, just this port of destination. And it took another two days. It doesn't tell me. I had to dig that this product came to me via the United States Post Office. Because it doesn't really say it. It doesn't really say it. It does say the last mile when I scroll up. But it does say because it does say out for delivery. Because um, it tells me Martinsburg in transit, West Virginia, today, uh, 24th, which is today that it's in transit inbound at 4 12 in the morning then at uh 6 10 in the morning it's out for delivery now i i had to and all dig for you know that they deal with the united states postal service it didn't the the app when i initially took the uh, uh screenshot today didn't tell me it was ups it wasn't until much later did it tell me it was UPS and give me a UPS tracking number. Epic Deals is pathetic. And granted that this is a backpack. We'll open it up shortly. This is what it came in. A bag. Not a box. A bag. Pathetic. So all in all, it, this took me 20 days. 20 days. When I told, when I asked Epic Deals about this, when uh, when I was waiting, when I saw it, it was about six days into sitting, sitting in this country, six days, and I kept saying, "Yeah, it takes seven to ten days, seven to ten days," and I said, "All right, all right, Epic. What point do I start calculating, applying that number? What point?" They were like, "What do you mean, what point?" I said. Is it from the point I hit confirm and I get the aspect of orders have been placed or the confirmation, the email that I have received stating the fact that it has been shipped out and here is my tracking number. They were like, well, it takes seven to ten days. I said, you don't understand. What do I go by? The placement or the email? Well, which email? The confirmation that my order has been placed or the email that it says it's been shipped out? Then they get back to me after I... Uh, they, didn't, they never told me. They just said, uh, well, uh, seven, to ten, 7 to 15 days. Again, I get back to them. Instead of, I, I replied to them via the email. And I replied to them, a direct message, and I rep I didn't get a response when I said, what point? I, the only time I got a reply was I, when I replied to them on their Facebook post. And they said, well, uh, you, you need to contact our support team for the tracking number. I said, I got that. 
I'm asking you, when do I contact the date? Two different numbers. Because if you go by the confirmation email that my order is placed, it's already late. And if you go by the confirmation, you got about a week. They said, well, uh, I've been busy. It's on the website. Well, they said, I said, nothing was on the website saying uh, they've been busy in two days. I said, this was sh shipped out. Again, this was shipped out five days after my confirmation. Five days. And they were like, oh. I said, I decided, because once it changed in the system, that it went to Newark. And I decided, I'll wait. Thank God my, my neighbor got this. Now I'm going to, probably at one point next week or so, I'll record something in regards to um, uh, putting together the new pack. I got to put battery on charge. Uh, I want to check my sugar and do, you know, have something to eat. Uh, I thank you guys. Links to the podcast are down below, as always, and uh, as the rest of the social media links. Uh, check us out. That's all we ask. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that share button. I'm going to open this up and actually fiddle with it and everything else at some other point. Not going to do it now because my camera needs to charge. I've been ranting for over 21 minutes. Uh... I want to see if it actually is what it is at some point. I hope this one actually lasts. Thanks for watching. I'm the Reverend Godfather. See you next time. Check out our podcast. Give us a listen. Give us a share. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you want. We're a little... Oh, train! <laughs> Later. Perfect timing.